In this video, we are going to talk about product stream analysis and the cut point spec at Aspen Hysis. So most of the time during our simulation of the column, we have different products like naphtha, kerosene, diesel, and so on. During the simulation and adding the specs, I focused on adding a flow rate, which, okay, so flow rate is an equal to a quantity. So mainly we focus on the quantity. We can increase the amount of naphtha or decrease the amount of kerosene. But this is not actually the case. Most of the time we focus on the quality. So not the quantity. We are going to focus on the quality. Quality of our product. Okay, so to focus on the quality of our product in a distillation column, we focus on the cut point. So instead of focusing on the flow rate, we mainly maintain a good quality by focusing on the cut point. Okay, so cut point specification is used. We are going to use it to define our product stream. So stream analysis features in Aspen Hysis, like product analysis and so on, will be used. Okay, so I'm here now to discuss how this works. Okay. So I, now we are going to focus on the quantity, uh, the quality, not the quantity. So I'm going to remove this one and ask you a question. If I want to increase the quality of naphtha, how will this work? Okay, so you will have something called ASTM. This is, we have studied this in, um, during our process engineering course. So there is ASTM or true boiling points these are type of analysis for ACTM we have a volume percent divided into a volume percent five volume percent and 95 volume percent so the total we are talking about 100 volume percent now if we have an, a test like D86 and we have eight percent and 95%. You have now two products, naphtha and the kerosene. So let's separate these two streams. So now you have naphtha and also you have kerosene. Okay. And for each one, you have 5% and 95%. Here you have 5%. And 95%. Let's make it more clear. We are, get, we are going to add diesel also. Okay. So here you are going to add diesel. And the more I explain, the more you will understand. Okay. And 95%. Why we are splitting it, not 50 50, because this 5% here, this is our light component in kerosene. So this are our light components. And this 95% is the heavy components. So if I am going to increase the naphtha, I will decrease this 5% and take some of it and add it to 95%. If I want to increase the kerosene, I'll take from the 5% of diesel, this is the light components, and add it to a kerosene because kerosene is lighter than diesel. So if it's going to take from diesel, it will take from its light components. For naphtha, naphtha is lighter than kerosene. So if it's going to take from kerosene, it will take from its light component. So now, if I am going to increase the or improve the cut point, increase of naphtha, which means our 95% will increase, right? And this will increase because the 5% of kerosene we will remove from it, which means the amount of light gases will decrease here, which means the boiling point will increase. Again, if I have, okay, let's, let me add another clean area, okay, here. If I have naphtha and kerosene, and naphtha is 5% and 95%. Kerosene is 5% and 95%. If I am going to improve or increase, to increase 
the true boiling point of nafta i am going to increase it which means i am going to add more heavy components right the heavy the heavier the components the more the true boiling point will be which means i am going to borrow some from kerosene so the five percent of kerosene we some of it will be added here which means the true boiling point here will increase and before the five percent it's now with no light hydrocarbons the light hydrocarbons are removed to be added to nafta which means now it will be mainly heavy component heavy component means or equal to we are going to increase the boiling point of kerosene okay so this is important because what we are going to do mainly depends on this part so if anything here you don't understand kindly write a comment and i'll explain it again so now we are going to aspen heises and this is our aspen heises this is our case and now we are going to focus on the quality of the production instead of adding the flow rates to focus on the quantity okay so now it's in the center and now we are going to open here here we will have in our monitor the specs and if we select the active you will find this is a rate this is a product flow all of these are related to the flow rate I, now we want to do something different so we are going to add a product or a petroleum assay analysis so this is a type of analysis you can add it from here this is a stream analysis and the petroleum assay from here or you can enter each individual stream like here we are going to add one for nafta we are going to work on the quality of kerosene and also the diesel and EGO okay so now we have four streams that we need to add a stream analysis or a petroleum assay so here double click we have the stream nafta okay now we have it open we can go to our attachment here and at attachment we have analysis so now you can create your analysis which is petroleum assay after adding it you have it's now already created okay so this is for the petroleum assay this one this page has opened okay so we are going to do the same for uh, the different components okay we are going to close this one actually here, here beside the design you have a reason this is the true boiling point volume in degrees let's see this is true boiling point mass is md86 actually you need to search for this definitions if you don't know about ESTM analysis or different tests at here you will find a different okay so this is two percent the one i was talking about was five percent and 95 95 percent so these are the persons here in volume here in mass okay so uh, now i'm going to do the same with the different streams so i did it for nafta so now I'm going to kerosene, double click and go to attachment analysis and I'm going to create a stream analysis for a petroleum assay and edit again after opening this one here you have a results and this is the 5% so it's at temperature 206 and also you can find 95% here okay uh, for diesel we will follow the same procedure and decorate petroleum say and add okay you can uh, again go to the reasons and check for EGO attachment analysis create and petroleum say add and now we have this reasons and for the five percent here actually is temperature the uh, the more we go down to the column you more you find higher temperatures okay so now we can lose this one now we have our stream analysis here you can choose them from the stream analysis you have four assays petroleum assays for nafta kerosene diesel and gas oil and its status is okay so the um, uh, the analysis is done and the data are printed 
So okay. After adding the analysis, you can select the results as we did, and do you sh you check the calculated um, cut point. Okay. So now, if I ask you about the D eighty six cut point of diesel five percent. So diesel five percent here. Okay. Analysis. This one. You have result. Uh, we have uh, asked about D sixty. Uh, 86 and again I'm asking about 95% so this is for diesel 95% so the temperature will be 385.2 okay so now you are focusing about at the, the analysis what is the end point that you want to to end at and what is the volume percent okay so to some to me to talk about it again to maximize the production of okay let's go here to maximize the production of a certain product like nafta for example it's necessary to increase its 95 percent volume percent cut point temperature as i mentioned before so at the same time the kerosene 5 volume percent cut point will also increase because the lighter component in kerosene will be transferred to nafta okay this is actually an important point so now we are going to in actually now we have our petroleum uh, essay which illustrate or show you the um, the actual temperature based on the flow that we added but now we are going to have to control the cut uh, uh, control the quality but add by adding a cut point so we are talking about aspect so we are going to open here and go to monitor now we are going to add aspect related to the cut point okay so now at here we are going to check a uh, on check so now active we we group the active here we are going to uncheck the distillate nafta rate so we have a nafta rate distillate nafta rate or the distillate rate here we are going to uh, to remove it and also uh, kerosene side stripper product flow kerosene side stripper product flow here we see side stripper product flow we don't need this information why because this is a flow and we need to remove the flow and focus on the quality the second one is related to uh, distillate nafta rate or distillate rate this one and we are going to uncheck so now we have a degree of freedom equals to two because we have removed two specs so we are we need now to add another two specs so we are going to add a spec and this is big is called a column cut point okay we agree that we are talking about the cut point after adding it uh, the cut point it will we ha will have this page open and this cut point is related to nafta nafta cut point and uh, the nafta is removed from a condenser so the stage is a condenser and we are taking astmd 86 most of the time actually and we have a volume fraction in a liquid phase and we are we have this big of 95 percent so this one is for 95 percent and we have as big as the temperature equal to 215 degrees Celsius. okay we will not change anything here so we have our first spec and now we are going to add another spec which is another column a cut point but this time will be for a kerosene so the cut point for kerosene and we know that the kerosene is taken from the side stripper reboiler so we remove it from a side stripper reboiler uh, um, side stripper reboiler okay we take it from here and it's again is the md86 and the volume fraction liquid and we need a 95 percent spec to equal to 260 degrees Celsius. don't change anything else and it will be solving now we need to uh, actually it run from itself okay but it takes um, some time to solve so I I'm going to group the active to um, to check okay I'll stop it here and I'm going to group the active to make sure that everything that I want to be checked is it checked okay so i have the distillate rate okay 
ديزل this is enough to CB and it's here this uh, we have okay I need to edit this one to be kerosene because we might add another cut point kerosene cut point and okay this one is okay um, here we need to make sure that always uh, the degree of freedom is equal to zero and we check every um, aspect that we need uh, actually again this is in hold so if we press active it will do the calculation and convert the same way we are going to add the spec related to um, a diesel and EGO but before I think this number is a little bit high for the uh, cut point at 95% uh, so I'm going to change it to 167 for um, NAFTA and for um, kerosene uh, I'm going to change the CB to be 242 okay now it will be unconverged and on hold so I'm going to keep it active okay I'll make it active again so this actually is a problem having a lot uh, in Aspen Heights is uh, shifting between active and on hold so now I'm going to add another spec and the cut point the same way we did before uh, this time it will be for a diesel CB diesel CB and this stage here for diesel we remove it from the side stripper too so for diesel stage number three and uh, it's liquid 95% this one would be a volume percent 95% and a number as uh, the value set B or the uh, cut, po cut point would be 405 and also we have another value for um, EGO CB so another cut point and EGO EG not C EGO CB and we take EGO from size stripper three number three and it will be liquid and 95% volume percent will be at temperature 455 degrees Celsius okay so now we close this one and now we have these two information that we need to add okay so these two information so it will be uh, actually should be negative two okay select this one always be sure that you select the one that you are uh, adding so now we need to remove the rate because here we're improving the quality so now we need to remove the rate associated with EGO and also for a uh, diesel so we are going to group the active together so the active will be here and we need to remove um, the diesel side stripper product flow and also the EGO okay so diesel flow side stripper product flow we need to remove this one because we are replacing the flow with something related to the quality and second one would be EGO product flow so this is the flow from the side stripper now it will be converged what we have done here is we are instead of mentioning that we are going to remove um, a, a specific quantity or a specific flow rate per hour no in this time we are going to remove a specific quality okay so if we go here for a stream analysis and open open it like this one and go here and enter so unknown stream composition so the solver here actually it is not solving for the for the petroleum essay so now we are going to check again our solvent from hold to active and okay press active here okay in this case we have an error message related to an old calculations and also um, a new calculation so uh, this is actually the error message we have entered before that the diesel side stripper product uh, material stream is 130 and this is a new calculation so now we need to enter the environment here and the flow sheet enter the environment and we need to check what we have entered before so in this case we have um, okay let me show the error message again to so we activate active this one from hold to active So after removing the value and the switching from on hold to active, it will be uh, active. Actually, sometimes you don't have the error that 
it's shown to me it differs between someone and someone so sometimes the software have uh, this type of uh, errors um, for the stream analysis now it has values if we look at kerosene this is our stream analysis and these are the results we actually have defined that we need 95% uh, is equal to uh, this is our uh, the assay of kerosene and we mentioned it to be 242 okay so it does some calculation and these are our final results okay so now from the workbook you can here check the composition of each stream material stream energy stream and unit operation um, now we have finished this, this uh, atmospheric distillation uh, it's important to mention that during the expert exam you will be asked about the cut point uh, most of the time you are asked about the cut point and also there are a lot of advanced um, column features that we are going to talk about later but it's important to know how to define um, in stream analysis here and in our cases we have added a petroleum assay and also it's important to know how to add a spec like a cut point so from here in a spec go to the monitor any numbers related to the uh, duty and uh, the performance go to the performance you have a lot of information that you can answer questions from this section